Hello, Claire Yosa here. I wanted to give you a quick example of how I walk my talk with the stuff I teach in the Dare to Dream Bigger handbook. Those of you who've got your copy, and if you haven't, you can get it at daretodreambiggerhandbook.com, you'll know that we, do, we go through seven steps of creating breakthroughs in your business, or the big vision and the service that you want to share with the world. But we actually start with a step zero, which is called clear out and declutter, okay? And there's a really good reason we start with that. Those of you who've gone through the book, if you've gone through this process, you'll understand that to grow and change and shift, you need to create the space for that change first. And if you take overwhelm and stress and busyness and exhaustion, and then you grow, all you're doing is amplifying chaos. But I want to share with you something that is extra to what's in the book. A bit of engineer approved woo woo. Those of you who know me know that I'm an NLP trainer, meditation and yoga teacher, but I also used to be an engineer. So everything I teach on the woo woo side has gone through my inner engineer's BS radar first, yeah? So here you go. When you look at energy, at prana, at chi, whether you look at it from the feng shui point of view or some other metric in school, when you've got mess and clutter in your outside world, you've got stagnant energy. As within, so without, as Carl Jung said, when your outside world is dirty, messy and stressful, it's very likely that your inside world will be too. Now, as a meditation teacher, I regularly go through phases where I might meditate for quite a long time every day, particularly if I'm doing some career work, some inner change. When I'm doing that, I can handle my outside world being however it wants to be and I just ride those waves. When I haven't had time to do that and I'm only meditating a bit less long or a bit less often, when my outside world is chaos, I find my stress levels building. I find I get irritable. I find I get frustrated more easily. Now, we had an example of this last night in my home. It's been an incredibly busy summer. I've been editing the manuscript. I've been getting the Readers Club ready. I've barely breathed <laughs> and the launch of the book was last week. So we've been incredibly busy and frankly, my house looked like it, yeah? <laughs> it was messy, it was dirty. Everywhere I went, I'm really, really sensitive to vibes and energy. Yeah, we will, I warned you. You know, I'm the kind of person that I can walk into a room and I can tell exactly who's getting on with whom and who's not. I can just feel it somehow. So when I'm living in somewhere that's really messy, it's like there's black, energy all over the place and my kids are the same they pick it up they start to fight they start to be irritable they start to be grumpy I find it really gets me down it affects my mood it drags down my emotions everything feels heavy and difficult so we've got a couple of weeks coming up where we've got lots of toing and froing um, I've got a situation I need to handle with somebody who wants to pick a fight with us and we're not going there. So I know that I need to be calm. I also know that if their fighting energy comes into my life, when my outside world is full of stuckness and heaviness and dark, black, yucky, dirty energy and environment, it's much more likely they'll press my buttons. If my environment is calm and clean and I'm meditating regularly, they can press away and it's much less likely that I'll react and it's much more likely that we'll come to a peaceful solution, which is what we're intending to do. So I had a really deep clean. <laughs> we spent five hours yesterday. I was like a woman possessed. Everything's been tidied. Everything's been cleaned. You walk around the house, it feels like a different place. My husband came to bed late last night and he just said, I can't believe how different our home feels. Yeah. All we did was clean and tidy, put things away, get the charity bags filled with clothes that no longer fit the kids, with toys we're no longer using. That's all we did. Suddenly this morning, I found I could meditate for an hour without trying. Yeah. I feel calmer. I feel more grounded and more centered. The stuff that was stressing me about the next few weeks, it's fine. That's not a call to the universe to press my buttons and test me on this. What I did was clear out and declutter. That was it. So now I've created the space for growth. Suddenly all the stuff that for the last week or two has felt blocked, like it's been, you know when you've got a block pipe and there's pressure behind it and at some point it's gonna blow? 
that's how it had been feeling. Suddenly the blockage is gone. It doesn't need to blow now. It can just flow. All I did was clear out and declutter. So that is why step zero is clear out and declutter. Don't amplify chaos. If you want to grow to the next level, you need to create the space. Creating the space inside can start with creating the space outside. That's often easier. You see tangible results. It inspires and motivates you. And that sense of relief when you let go of the stuff you don't need anymore. When you clear out and give away or recycle the things that don't belong in your life. When you look after what you have, you create the space and the vibration for more of it to come to you, but only the things you want. And that cleaning, clearing out that stagnant energy, that blocked chi, makes the most phenomenal difference. So there you go. Step zero, clear out and declutter. I can personally <laughs> vouch for the fact it's transformational. So if you found that useful, please let me know via the comments. If you've got any questions, let me know as well. How has clearing out and decluttering been working for you? And how might that create the space and the headspace for you to take the actions to dare to dream bigger? Let me know via the comments. If you found this useful, please share it. Click the share button and you can tag anybody you know who might need to watch this video. And if you've not got your copy yet, www.daretodreambiggerhandbook.com. I'd love to share this with you.